camp and uh, they would come uh, on a couple days uh, basis, uh, two, three days in a row, gather up as much food as they could and then take the food back to the, the family and feed the family and that was the lifestyle of the of the Seminoles uh, uh, here in the, in the Everglades. Uh, they would also use the swamps in those occasions when the soldiers or whoever came after Hi. the Seminoles here. Hi. Hi. You know, they wanted to Hi. capture all the Seminoles Hi. and basically Hi. extradite the Seminoles out of Florida to deport them, okay, to uh, Oklahoma mainly. And, and so they would also come and hide in these swamps. And they would no. move from one swamp to another, to another, to another, until eventually either the soldiers uh, got tired and, uh, and uh, turned around and left, or no. the warriors would ambush the soldiers and then have a battle, and you know, they would always leave though, three or four alive, so they would get back and leave the message, and eventually the government gave up and uh, left them alone here, but uh, um, these, uh, you know, these camps were very important uh, for the for the whole movement throughout the area okay sometimes the groups would split some people go one way and other people go the other way and because of how remote these swamps were and how hard uh, for these people to actually access them and it's uh, one of the reasons why the Seminoles could not be removed out of these, uh, out of these swamps uh, the Seminoles however were pushed here you see, uh, the original tribes that occupied this area when the Spaniards first arrived uh, by the 1700s, mid-1700s, were in essence either extinct or about to become extinct. Diseases and warfare, to a lesser extent, really took a, <clears throat> a really heavy toll on native uh, uh, populations, uh, uh, of Florida native tribes. And the Seminoles originally were uh, Creek Indians, primarily lower creeks from uh, Georgia, Alabama, that area there, um, that began sort of trickling south and uh, settling the Florida Panhandle around the late 1600s, early 1700s. Uh, the Spanish actually began uh, 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 to put missions in this area. Uh, and. Uh, you know, these people got a few heads of cattle, horses, so forth and so on, began growing these things, and with more food, you could feed more people. So your numbers naturally grow. And they became, you know, began growing and becoming ever uh, more important in that uh, place. Uh, and, uh, well, there they lived, up until the 1819, 1820, when Florida actually becomes U.S. territory, then comes the army, claiming the land with a piece of paper, telling these people who've had easily, you know, seven, eight generations <laughs> back, you know, living there, uh, breathing, you know, being born, dying in that ground. You know, you get these people with a piece of paper saying, hey, this is our land now. You all need to leave. You all need to. This uh, that's our cattle if it's in the woods. And so of course, these people are not going to have any of it. And, uh, some actually, some Seminoles actually got tricked into signing things that were not what they were told they were. Some Seminoles were captured on their way to signing a treaty to say, okay, this is going to be us. This is a corridor for you guys to move back and forth. You leave us alone. This is ours. It's yours. No, they would get captured. <coughs> So the government didn't really uh, held their end of the bargain, and that created a lot of uh, a lot of animosity between these uh, groups. And of course, you know, some groups of Seminoles uh, having soldiers uh, come through their villages and towns, and they, you know, had no choice but to surrender, and would get uh, arrested and sent to forts. And many of them, most of them, did not even reach uh, their final destination. They would die, you know, en route. And some groups, of course, uh, avoiding the whole thing and uh, uh, kept on moving, you know, deeper and ever farther south into the state until eventually they reached the swamps. And so that's how the Seminole are forced to come down here. That's what you told me. Uh, here, you of course, is the last, uh, the last area where they could have really gone. With.